What is wrong guys, this is Tommy Place today. I'm bringing another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty and uh, I'm very excited for this. So if you didn't know, apparently Call of Duty is going to be returning to its roots, uh, so to say. So uh, first off, before I just say anything else, I just want to say thank you Sledgehammer. Like seriously, thank you. You introduced the whole Exoboost thing and now you're killing it and that makes me very happy. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, I just want to let you guys know real quick that I didn't, I haven't watched any videos uh, discussing this topic yet on YouTube, so uh, I'm trying to remain like as, I guess you could say, unbiased as I can be and not get influenced by other videos. So this is all me. Hopefully I don't sound like I'm copying another YouTuber because I'm always afraid of that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to be discussing what I think this means and what I think could change because obviously the, we're not going to be seeing jetpacks anymore which is a big thumbs up to me. Uh, th that's an obvious one. Uh, so I'm not going to me really mention that anymore. But here we go. Uh, what this means. First off, um, which time area are we talking about? Because there are a lot of time areas that uh, they can go for here. Personally, I think when they say they're going back to their roots, I, the first thing I think of is World War II. Call of Duty originated from World War II, and I don't think many people uh, would complain if they go back there. I mean, seriously, j just imagine storm storming the beaches of Normandy on D-Day in today's uh, graphic settings uh, with a triple A title. Uh, especially now where it seems like Call of Duty is starting to get more gory and stuff. I mean, I, I would I would personally pay like over a hundred dollars to play that. Like to me, that would just be that would just be amazing. Uh, World War II game to me has a big thumbs up. Another time area era I could see them doing is Vietnam. Uh, Black Ops 1 was sort of based in Vietnam, we played a few missions in there. Um, I do not th uh, think they would do this war just because they're, to me personally, there really doesn't seem like much they could do with it. I also personally think it would be a bit boring to play a Vietnam game. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the least likely to happen, but you never know. I mean, honestly, I'd still play it because it's still a more of a modernish game. So, yeah, here we go. The last area era I see I could see them doing is... Uh, also, very likely, I think this one and uh, World War II are the ones that are pretty much neck and neck. Like, it's either going to be these two is modern, of course. Uh, some of the best Call of Duties have come from uh, the modern era, including all of the modern warfare games. Uh, I mean, all of the modern warfare games were pretty much huge successes, which, uh, except like MW3, arguably. Uh, Call of Duty has always been good at making fictional war stories for campaigns. So um, I really wouldn't mind if they do modern, but I'd personally love to see them do World War II again. Uh, or who knows, maybe they could just throw a complete core ball and like put us in the midst of uh, the Korean War or something. Who knows? We'll just have to see what they're doing. Um, so right, now let's talk about supply drops. So uh, I'm 99% sure these are still going to be in the game. They have made Activision a lot of money. I'm talking about like billions of dollars. So I'd be very surprised, uh, surprised if they removed them. Uh, they, they can't, however, you know, make weapons with different perks like Infinite Warfare because obviously this is a future game. So the only option they really have is uh, putting actual weapons into the supply drops for us to get. Um, I absolutely hate this idea, and honestly, this is the biggest reason why I hate Black Ops Three. Uh, this is the biggest reason why Black Ops Three is my least favorite Call of Duty is because they locked weapons. In supply drops without any other way to get them. Uh, I just I could never forgive them for that. Um, I know Activision is a business and they need to make money, but right now it seems like they are only thinking about themselves and not about the player base and how they feel. Uh, all I ask is either make the supply drops cosmetics only, meaning you don't get any advantage over anything in supply drops. I mean that would still make them a ton of money. Honestly, I honestly just don't see why they do that. Uh, or make any new weapons release purchase purchasable with any type of game currency like salvage I mean even if they just made it so you could purchase the guns with one dollar like like just say one dollar got you a gun that would make me a lot more happier than having them lots of supply drops with only a chance of getting them so please just <laughs> just give us another way of getting them without them only being in supply drops that that, that would just make me happy uh, now let's talk about the movement and damage models um, I hope they bring back the old <laughs> damage uh, model and movement speeds. Uh, 
I, I was on the verge, like my like my tippy toes were about to cross the line for me to never play Infinite Warfare again. I was getting so angry at it. Then something magical happened. They released Tactical TDM, and Tactical TDM uh, brought back the old movement speed and damage mod to the game. And I actually started to enjoy Infinite Warfare. I know that sounds crazy, but I actually love to play Infinite Warfare with um, Tactical TDM, just because it brings back the way that you know old school players like me played it back in the day where you know there's no jumping around um, headshots had a huge multiplier uh, it's just the movement speeds were a bit slower all that stuff and it it really did bring me back home and I actually I've actually played Infinite Warfare a lot ever since Tactical TDM came out and I'm really happy in it uh, in fact if I play regular core I just get frustrated and just move straight back to tactical I, I, I just get so Frustrated, so the old uh, movement speed and damage mod is a must-have in my book. Uh, last but not not least, let's talk about the kill streaks. And first of all, I said kill streaks because I think this means they're bringing back kill streaks, which I am all for. Meaning you actually have to get kills and not score, because to me, score streaks are really inconsistent. I'd rather just get a kill and know, okay, I got one kill. I'm five away from you know whatever. Um, Secondly, they need to make them more powerful again. Back in the MW2 days, if you heard a chopper gonna get caught in, you would shit your pants. I mean, seriously, the kill streaks back then were way more powerful and useful than they are today. Today, they just feel so weak. Nowadays, when you hear a warden get caught in, you, ju you kind of just ignore it, and you kind of just go, you kind of just think in your mind, "Oh, this is an inconvenience." So oh, well, I mean, there's, you really don't, you're really not afraid of it. The only score streak in Infinite Warfare I'm really afraid of is is the Thor, and that's just because it, uh, you know, obviously there's someone shooting missiles down at you and they can see you wherever you are, so, you know, obviously that's going to be a bit scary, but all the score streaks all together just suck, just suck ass in Infinite Warfare, that's all I can really say. I really hope that they uh, make those more powerful and bring back the kill streaks. Um, but anyways, one more quick thing is, uh, I think this also means they're going to be getting rid of the pick 10 rule, which I am all for. Hopefully this doesn't mean though they're bringing back death streaks because if they bring back death streaks I'm going to be a little upset. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down in the comments below what you think uh, this means, what you think they're going to do uh, uh, with the new Call of Duty coming out this year. Uh, tell me if you're excited, if you're not, blah blah blah, whatever. Just tell me in the comments what you think and uh, that will make me very happy. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.